Good morning, everyone. It is Aura Matrix here. Welcome to episode 74 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And we are about to get underway with the final side quest in the game. Do you believe it? So that's probably... I'm going to wait until that's the last time, or second last time, that you're going to see that Dawn of the First Day screen. Oh my goodness. So, what is the final side quest? Well, let's just take a look at our stuff here. Uh, there's really nothing there, but... It's like all these masks. We've used all of these per at least one thing, pretty much. Except this one. The Cafe's Mask. If you remember, way back early on in the LP, the first, within the first ten episodes, I think it was, actually, we got this from Madame Aroma in the mayor's office, and she asked us to look for her son at Cafe. And we never did, because we were just like, well, screw that, we'll save that till later. Well, I think it's been long enough now. So we're gonna do that. But, how do we start? Well... You can actually go around talking to people wearing this mask. Oh my god, that's creepy. <laughs> this skin's so pasty with that mask on, it's weird. But yeah, you can actually go around talking to people wearing this mask, and they will give you different reactions, and certain people will actually give you clues as to where to find Cafe. Or what happened to him, or whatever. So, I'm just gonna kinda walk around and show all that. I'm kinda half tempted to just leave this whole quest uncut, but it is so long and kind of, you have to wait around a lot, then I'm just not going to do it. I'm probably going to cut some stuff. But, um, yeah, oh, for that reason, too, that you're going to have to wait around a lot, uh, you're going to need to, oh god, what's my code again? Jeez. Mm. Um, is it that? Sweet. Okay. Yeah, but for the reason that you're going to actually have to wait around a lot, I recommend you I, like, highly recommend you don't play the inverted song of time to slow time down. Besides, that just makes it that much more rushed and, like, oh my god, you have to do this, and you're gonna want to feel that later in the quest, believe me. Alright, so, I'm just gonna go, go around talking to random people. Why well, I'm starting with this guy out here, I don't know, but... There you go. Alright, telescope guy. Tell me what you know about cafe. Dude, I don't have my mask on. Oops. Alright, no! Stop it. Man... Okay, let's let's regroup here. Stop it. How did I get on the other side of you? I don't know. All right. Cafe? I can recall when he was in the Palmers. I don't see his face much anymore, though. Well, what could he be doing? Try asking the children. The Palmers know all about what goes on in town. Interesting. Cafe was actually part of the Palmers at one point. <laughs> I honestly never knew that. It's kind of cool. Yeah, he figured, like, this guy's so far out of the way that he would have... You would have to have something interesting to say about Cafe. Uh, but that's not true for everyone who's like way out of the way, because people in pretty much any other area besides Clocktown won't really react to the mask at all. So don't even bother with those people. Wow, that's a glaring sun. Jeez. Just right in the camera. Alright, so that guy said talk to the bombers. So, well, here's a bomber right over here, I think. Yep. So let's talk to him. What do you know? I used to see him by laundry pool sometimes. Hey, who is he? What did he do? The laundry pool, eh? Cool. Oh, hey, the postman. He just came out of nowhere. Let's talk to him. You know anything? Dude. Dude. Okay, I'll chase you into the southern clock town then. Whatever. Okay, now talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, bitch. Get <laughs> what are you doing? No. Okay. I don't know where he is. Even if I knew, it would be a secret to everybody. Well, he seems kind of suspicious, so... I don't know, maybe he'll have something to do with this whole thing later on. Cafe? No, I don't know any such kid. I kid you not. Well, then how did you know his name, mister? I want answers, now! Never mind. Looky here, don't be interfering with my dear Elanju. You afraid of my fish? Don't go find in that cafe. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't know. There's some kind of love triangle going on right there with him, Anju, and cafe. Who's Anju anyways? I don't even know. Oh, uh, how many people are going to ask me that? That lady is so persistent. So, doesn't Cafe want to break it off his engagement to Anju? Why not let him? That's what he wants. Some people. Well, that sucks. What are you talking about? 
You, you can't just, like, abandon Anju like that, whoever she is. It's ridiculous. But if you actually come back here into Madame Aroma's bedroom place, there's, like, a little secret area back here, and I kind of want to show this, this off before, but I forgot about it. All right, here we have Cafe's Diary. The wedding ceremony is soon. It might be early, but I finished my wedding mask. I wonder if Anju has made hers. She tends to leave things to the last minute, so probably not. There's a gathering of the fellows of the milk bar tonight. I plan to show off my wedding mask and talk about it my sweetheart as best I can. <laughs> That's not what happens at those gatherings at the bar, man. You know what else happens there. Don't even try to pretend. Hey, Anju. I mean, no, I don't know your name yet. I'm sorry. Oh, that mask. You too, you're also looking for cafe. Anju the innkeeper was added to your notebook. <laughs> well, now we know her name is Anju. Hey, where's she going, though? Where's I want that food. Give me some. Oh, dude. Dude. Dude! What are you- Ah! You did not just slam that freaking door in my face. I know you didn't. Alright, so what if we talk here? What's she doing? Oh, Tortoise, I already had lunch. Grandmother, I'm Anju. Tortoise was my dad. And you haven't had lunch yet. I've already had lunch. Now, quick, be quick and take that away. Not eating is bad for you. Please eat. Didn't I say that I already ate lunch, Tortoise? Impossible, child. Then don't eat my food. I give up. Phew. Phew? Uh, <laughs> would you like me to read you a story? <laughs> oh, God. Wow. That's crazy. Let's read her diary here. See? Granny's diary. It was my granddaughter who cooked again today, putting that lip shortens the life. Well, look at it. Like, you can see it in this camera angle. It looks... It looks kind of delicious. Well, I don't really like tomatoes that much, but it still looks good. I mean, seriously. I'll eat that, totally. I thought of a way to get by without eating it. I'll try tomorrow. I just hope I'm not caught. <laughs> I've caught you red-handed, lady. Freeze! Okay. And once Anju leaves, we can actually talk to the grandmother, and she'll be like, Oh, don't tour. If they pick on you, you come tell teacher, okay? <laughs> I'm not sure what that's supposed to be about. Something about Mayor Detour and Anju being his, or Anju's grandmother being his teacher. I don't know. Alright, let's talk to her without the cafe's mask. See what kind of response we get then. Hey. 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 Um, okay, she won't talk, I guess. Whatever. Alright, so if you actually wait a while, Anju here will come back to the counter and we can talk to her. And she'll say, welcome to the stock pot inn. Um, did you have a reservation? Uh, t yeah, sure, why not? You do have a reservation? That's good. Mr. Argon, is it? One moment, please. Mr. Argon, I have you down for an afternoon arrival. What? Your room is our knife chamber. Whoa. <laughs> that doesn't sound very pleasant. Okay. Well, we get the room to the knife chamber, or the key to the knife chamber. You're not sure why, but you had apparently had a reservation. This is fortunate. Oh, you're telling me, man. It's crazy. Please relax. Why, thank you. All right, ooh, and at about 2 p.m. here, the postman's gonna arrive. Looks like we got some mail. Probably just bills. You know, you gotta be getting bills. Alright. Ah! Uh, uh, what is this? I have delivered this to you. Ah, uh, wait! This letter, wh where did you... Yeah. From the post box. Th that's not what I mean. From the post box where? Yeah. From the post box somewhere over the rainbow. Oh. That's not what I mean. <laughs> oh, man. This is weird. Please tell me. Yeah. It's a secret. To everybody again I must know man that kind of, that shot over like the counter here was kind of cool like how the camera is actually on the table all right and if you talk to her wearing cafe's mask now since we didn't get too much of a response out of her and apparently she's engaged to him so we should kind of get a better response maybe you're also looking for cafe I have a request cafe I have a clue that will help you find him tonight at 11 30 please come to our kitchen we'll talk then Wow, that's very suspicious. Again. <laughs> it was added to your notebook. Okay, I, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and meet her here at 11.30, I guess. So, we can just, we're just going to have to wait around until then, believe it or not. You can actually pass time by talking to Anju's grandmother and having her tell you stories. But I kind of just like, I just like waiting because it makes this whole thing feel more real. And here's our room, by the way. This is the knife chamber, apparently. I don't know why they call it the knife chamber. Oh, dude, don't, don't take that sh shit out. Because it looks kind of nice to me. Well, I don't know. The wallpaper's kind of bumpy there. Got all those air pockets. Or maybe that's just the design. I don't know. 
maybe we can call it the knife chamber because this looks like a knife to death, this wall. Well, the ramsackle in this is, room. is this room first class? You're gonna hear whoever's on the next door for crying out loud. Well, whatever. We're staying for free, so we can't expect much. Yeah, that's true. And there's actually a chest in here, too. I guess this is complimentary, like a complimentary 100 rupees. It's kind of weird. I thought, I, you'd think it was, like, cost more than 100 rupees to actually get a room here, a reservation. Or, I mean, less than 100 rupees. I don't know, maybe exactly 100 rupees. So you kind of lose money on that one. You lost money on that deal. Alright, I guess there's no sense staying around here anymore, so... Oh, hello! What are you doing? Jeez. Wait, what ha Can I talk to you? The city is so busy and hard to f it's hard to find one's way, Goro. What if I talk to you as a Goron? Do I get another, like, another response? Oh, of course not. Okay. Well, what's he gonna do here? I don't know. Maybe he has a reservation, too. But both rooms are full, so how's that gonna work? Let's find out. Oh, he's not at the counter yet? Okay. Now he is. I'm terribly sorry, there are no vacancies today. We're booked solved with reservations. I made a reservation. The name is Argon Goro. What? Mr. Argon Goro? I don't have a reservation under that name. There is one close to that, but someone else took it. What? Really, Goro? Well, it's nice weather, so I'll just sleep outside, Goro. No, dude. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Wow. <laughs> we just jacked this guy's room. I don't believe that. You really don't have it, Goro? I really don't have it. Really, Goro? I'm terribly sorry. Oh, man. I feel bad for both of them. Because Anju has to deal with him, and he's just like... He has to sleep outside now. What a jackass we are. I would give you the room key if I could, but Link is, too, is like stupid and greedy, so... I'm sorry. I don't know. Maybe you actually can give him the room key. I've never tried. I can try later, I suppose, because I actually want to keep it for now, because there's kind of an optional scene you get to see later in this side quest if you keep it. But for now, we're just going to kind of wait around or neander around town, I guess you could say, until the si until 11.30, where we will meet Anju very suspiciously at 11.30 in the kitchen. Ooh, maybe we're going to have a romantic dinner for two, but that would make sense because she's engaged to cafe, so she'd be cheating on him with me. But he did disappear, so maybe that makes sense. So shut up! Oh, hey, look, Kremi and Romani are having dinner here. Let's see what this is about. Never seen this before. Do you talk? Okay. Oh, my, did you come from town? Uh, yes. Then that means... Milk Road is open to traffic. Good, I can deliver milk to town now. <laughs> Welcome to Romani Ranch, Chateau Romani's village. I am the ranch owner, Kremia. She's my sister, Romani. Pleased to meet you. You're cute. <laughs> Hey now, Romani, that's rude to our guest. No, it's not. Come on. Link is adorable. Yes, sister. Wow. What if I talk to you wearing cafe's mask? Ooh. There's an idea. Ah, you. Did a middle-aged woman put you to work? Cafe isn't here. Ooh, a little bit hostile there, aren't you, Kremia? Well, that act that's actually kind of another character branch that gets developed a little bit. There are so many character branches, like so much character development in this quest in general. You got Kafe and Anju, you got Kremia and stuff, you got Anju's mother, you've got the owner of the curiosity shop, believe it or not, you got so much stuff. The postman, even. The postman, the freaking postman. It's just amazing. I'm not doing anything suspicious, really. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Oh man, look at this, it's Argon the Goron. Man, look at what we did to him. The wind has gotten damp, Goro. Tomorrow's rain, Goro. Goro, Goro. Oh man, he's sleeping outside, and it's gonna rain tomorrow, and he'll probably have to sleep outside tomorrow, too. Wow, we just totally screwed this guy when we jacked his reservation. My goodness. Wonder how he knows he's gonna... Well, hello. Um, it's 8.30pm, and the stockpot aim will now be locking the door. Thank you for joining us. Cool. Alright, so I guess we're locked in here. We do have a reservation and a room, so that's cool. Yeah, I wonder how he knows it's gonna rain. Maybe his feet hurt. That happens to me sometimes. My feet hurt when I, when th it's gonna rain. It's kind of weird. I don't know. What's in this room? I don't know if I've ever been in here. Oh hey, two guys playing cards. Wow. <laughs> Did you meet the Rosa sisters or fellow performers from the troupe? They're twins too. 
They're twins just like us. Can you believe it? I think they're practicing somewhere in West Clocktown right now. There are two sets of twins traveling with Gorman's troop of entertainers. I mean, what are the chances? I'd say the chances are about one in a million. Now wait, make that four in a million. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> wow. Look at, the, look at their mustaches. Or that guy's mustache anyways. He's, just, he's got such a long face. He could be a butler. Wow. What the hell? Ew! Ew! Someone's underwear. Does that mean one of these guys isn't wearing underwear? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Jeez. A child in two, two grown men's room, one of them's not wearing underwear. I don't even know what to think. 